So you have to do this if you want to get rid of witchcraft attack. If you are noticing scratches on your body, you are noticing eating in grain, you are experiencing like you just stay, somebody will mention your name or somebody will call your name. You'll be wondering who is calling me and some people will just answer without knowing who is calling them. All those things are wishes voices calling you. They will call you with familiar voices. You think that it's somebody around you. If you're experiencing all those things, you have to do this as soon as possible. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here for the first time, you are so welcome. My name is Pamela. So in this channel, I share spiritual tips, I share messages. Spiritual tips like this that will help you greatly to get rid of negative powers surrounding your environment. Negative powers stopping you from getting anything you want to get through prayers. If you love spiritual tips, go on and subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Facebook page for more tips like this. Give this video a like and also share it to everybody, okay? So like this particular video will help you greatly. Onion helps for cleansing. Go through my videos, we notice that I've made this of onion. Like using onion for cleansing. Onion. Okay, just go through it and you see it. Onion cleansing is very powerful. Like this particular one is another one I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to tell you two ways to make use of this for cleansing out evil from your environment. You can also use it to cleanse yourself. I'll show you how to use it to cleanse yourself, to get rid of any evil. The enemy must have afflicted you due to those crashes. Witchcraft attack. It can deprive one from going forward. It can steal your goal. It can make your star not to shine. It can make your breakthroughs to slow back. At the end of this, you appreciate God for this video. So just continue watching. So you have to get onion, onion of any color. Okay, be it the white, be it the yellow, or this color, this purple, red. Yeah, just get it. Fresh one, please. So before you start, you have to tell God that, you know, seek God first. If anything you want to do, just tell God. Pray to God Almighty. Before you try this, you can decide, okay, I don't want to do it today. Let me just pray before I start. Seek God, tell God that this is what you want to do. That God should show you signs whether you should go forward or not. Of course, then you have to invite God's power in it. Because you need to charge it. We need the power of God to flow into this, to make it effective. To make it stay longer and last longer for you. So, I know some people will say they are praying and praying and things are not working for them. Maybe because you have not channeled your prayers rightly. Prayers are very, very effective. Like, you works. Even if you are doing spiritual work, you have to include prayer. Without prayer, how can you work? You cannot just come and be cutting something and doing spiritual work and not saying some prayers. It, it will just be as if you are cooking. You are cooking in the kitchen. Because all these are kitchen ingredients, of course. You have to activate it with the power of God. Activate it so that you, it can be charged and make it more spiritual for you. Normally, onion is a very cleansing item. It cleans out evil. Okay? The, the evil ones, they don't like the smell of onion. Yeah, normally, even me, I'd, me... Okay, I'm not saying that everybody that don't like the smell are evil people. No. But it's more stronger. The smell is more stronger and more repelling to those evil ones. They don't like the smell of onion at all. So, you have to place it at the four corners of your house of your of your room of your sitting room to get rid of evil the next morning you have to remove it so i'm going to tell you how to use it rightly just get it and pray tell god almighty to have mercy upon you that you want to do this because those evil may be as a result of what you have brought to yourself or the one that the evil ones must have brought okay anyone but just tell god to have mercy why you should tell god to have mercy is because you are not perfect. Before you tell God to remove evil, you have to make sure that you yourself, your heart is clean. If there's any sin hanging over your head that will make this not to work, that God Almighty should come and remove it for you, have mercy upon you, so that this will work for you. So that the power of God will visit this and remove any evil troubling you. So 
I want to start with if you notice eating in dream, if you experience scratches on your body, like or no scratch, especially when you wake up from sleep. Some people will see it on their thighs, on their stomach area, their back, and sometimes it appears on those eating parts so that you not get to know. If you see it, then you count yourself lucky. You have to do the needful. Pray seriously. Tell God that this mark is not of God. Like, if you are sure that this mark is not afflicted by objects around you, like physically, okay? Just pray. Tell God to remove any evil that somebody has placed in your body that may result to something bad. If it's a spiritual poison, tell God Almighty to cleanse you, to purge you, to remove every poison, every spiritual poison from your body. That is a very bad one. So you have to get on your... Do not remove the back, please. Cut it into four. Do not remove the peel. Do not remove the back. Just cut it into four. Like, like this and like this. It should be four halves. Transfer it into your blender. Blend it like that. Or you put it in a mortar. Pound it. Add some water to get the juice out of it. Even if you are getting the juice out of it, I know. Do not remove the back. The peel is also very spiritual. The peel is very spiritual. Everything. You blend it together after blending it and the peel did not blend well no problem just get the juice out of it and you can trash away the rest transfer the juice into your bath water you have to pray seriously this should be done at night in fact anything for attack should be done at night if you do it at night it will still last all day like it will last for many days it will last for many weeks it can last for many months you know these things are just like prayers you have to pray with a season. If you are doing something like this once in a while, you do it again. Even once they keep on multiplying, they don't get tired. If you start it, it will be as if they are weak because you have countered their power. Don't just relax and say, oh, this thing is not happening again. No. This is the time to even be more stronger. Continue what you are doing. I'm not saying you should be doing it every time, okay? Once in a while, you try it. Transfer the juice into your bath water. Then you have to be baiting. As you are baiting, you have to be praying to God Almighty to visit you in a good way and to get rid of every affliction, every witchcraft attack, every eating in dream. That you refuse to eat in dream again. That you want to be spiritually active so that when they want to feed you, you will resist. All those signs are witchcraft attack that may stop you from getting anything you want in life. So just pray and you know use sponge, do not use soap. Whenever you are doing spiritual cleansing like this, you can decide to have your bath thoroughly before using this water. Have your bath with your soap. Then lastly, then use this water. Do not say onion is smelling and smelling. No. This is a spiritual cleansing method. Only once a day. You can decide to do it the next day, but once a day. Anytime you are doing something like this, do not meet with your partner sexually and also do not be on your period. So the other one of placing it at the four corners of your door, of your house, anytime they come to attack you when, while you sleep, that they will not be able because the smell you made them to, they will just run away. And also placing it at the corners like this, it's just like one video I made, I know I shared how to use salt, placing it at the four corners to get rid of negative energies. They, they will absorb out negative energies from that environment. Negative energies like malice, like quarrel, like, you know, anything that does not bring peace in that environment is going to absorb it out and remove it. And from that day, that environment will be filled with love, unity, and peace. So, there are different ways to make use of onion anyway. So, I want to stop now because of time. Use it this way. Place it at the four corners of your house to get rid of evil. The one you know or the one you did not know. If you have any bad objects or if you have brought in a bad spirit into your room, maybe you went to somewhere, an evil altar or an evil place, or shrine, they gave you something and you kept it in your house. You don't know the consequences of that. Even if it's a long time ago, please pack everything and throw it away. If you are afraid, pack everything and return it from where you brought it. Just return it there. Tell them, oh, that you, are, you don't feel free to keep it in your house. Because all these things can make blessings not to come into your house. Even if you kept it in your house for protection, it can be acting another thing. It can be bringing another bad thing to, it, to the house without you knowing. So I'm going to talk about this in my next video.
or another you know next time so just go on and place onion at the four corners of your house and you see what will happen god almighty will deliver you from wishes attack wishes uh, plans and you'll be set free and set free forever so if you place it at the four corners of your house you have to remove it early morning okay anytime you want to try keep it again at night the next morning remove it you don't need to repeat it thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe share this video to everyone remain blessed as always i will see you in my next video